Hi, this is Erin O'Reilly with Art to Ride, and today I wanted to introduce a student of mine that I've been teaching for many, many years. Lily just turned 14 this year, so she is 13 in some of these videos. She has had her pony rain for about a year now, but she did ride him every now and again before that as well as he was owned by her cousin Jane. Jane is also a student of mine, so Rain had started a little of this work before Lily got him, but he was still very new to it and had very little strength over his back at the time. I included these pictures that you see here of Rain's pre ride days to give you an idea of how he used to want to carry himself all of the time. As you can see, he was extremely hollow and inverted and was pretty determined to stay that way in the beginning, so... He was definitely a project. However, both he and Lily have come a long way, which is what I want to show here today. So I'll also mention that in some of the first videos that you'll see of Lily and Rain, uh, I wasn't quite 100% sure the best way to get a horse to work in this way. It was before I had gone to California and done some working student positions. So I'll talk about that a little bit as we go. But this video here is from February 2017, and believe it or not, this was already a big improvement for this horse. Um, you can see how straight he is behind. He's definitely not active enough, definitely not swinging forward, but he's starting to accept contact a little bit and start to reach for it. So we were very, very, very happy about that at the time. Um, although in hindsight, I probably would have worked this horse from the ground a little bit more before I attempted much uh, mounted work, in especially in the trot here. Um, but he had a big, big, big tendency to want to back away from contact. So even just that was a big success for us at the time. Although still definitely not connected or using himself properly in that video. So then these clips are from November 2017. And this was around the time that Lily started to use the lunging consistently, always lunge before she rode, and really started to get into the Art to Ride program. And But you can see here that uh, throughout all the video from this day, Rain is still having a hard time to swing forward enough, to get active enough. He's stretching a little bit more consistently and Lily's starting to get a better feel for making the corrections, especially on the lunge line. But I would definitely want to see this be quite a bit more active. Uh, the issue that we had with him, of course, uh, as it is with a lot of horses that are very weak over their top line, is that you know if you pushed him too forward, then he wasn't able to stay reaching and he'd hollow and he'd rush. He's also kind of your stereotypical pony, which you can't see a lot of in some of these clips, but you know, he has every trick in the book to get out of work and he can be a big character, but yeah, here I would like to see him be a whole lot more active and I would love to See him reaching a little bit deeper, um, out on a bit of a bigger circle, stepping away from Lily a little bit more, but we're working through all of that here. It's just that in hindsight, had I had my time back, I probably would have done things a little bit differently. Like I think this horse at this point could have benefited from a lot more work in hand and probably to be in long side reins at this point and just more focused on getting him active out at the end of the line because you can see he really is falling in there. However, what is happening here is Lily is starting to get a feel for this type of work and starting to understand how it is that she wants him to move and there was a lot of discussion at this point that, you know, even though He's reaching down, he's still not quite active enough, so it was always the goal to get there. And even though we probably could have took a, taken a little bit of a different path, he still got to a much nicer place in the end, so I think that's the main thing. And I wanted to leave some of this video in here anyway, just to sh show the progression over time and show 
where he came from and the amount of time that it took to get him there. But you can see here that he is starting to move out to the end of the line a little better. He's maybe a little bit more active and Lily is starting to get a better feel for how to correct him when he does come up. So that's pretty much what we were focused on at this point, even though this trot is not quite active enough to really be overly beneficial for him right now. And so you'll see a lot of the same things happening here in the mounted work. But what is happening is Lily starting to get a feel for trying to follow him up with her hands and trying to get him as active as possible without him tensing and really inverting again. We're using the chambone here to help her out with that. But of course it could still be quite a bit more active. So as he reaches a little bit deeper you see him start to swing through from behind just a little bit more but Overall, he still looks like he's kind of stuck behind, not really swinging through, not very much bend in the hocks, and not quite active enough to push the back up. Although everything is very nice and soft and relaxed, so I like that for sure. And just working towards getting the feel for him for Lily. So she's going to attempt a little leg yield here, which you'll see that it does actually help the quality of the walk a little bit. And although he doesn't have huge crossovers or anything like that, she did get a feel for moving him off her inside leg and she got a little bit of a deeper reach there because of it. And then the trot work, same thing. He's actually staying out off of her inside aids a little bit better here in the mounted work than he did with the lunging. This horse had a major, major tendency to want to look to the outside and fall in. Um, when we first got him, and that took a long time to undo. Of course, we know that that comes from getting the horse to work over their back, but it was a, a big challenge with this one. But you can see here she's starting to get a, an okay feel for how to use her reins. It's never like she's never pulling. Her hands do drop down and come back a little bit, which was a big thing that Lily had to work through because she had a major tendency to do that. But when she asks properly, he does respond and she does get that feel of giving a release when she feels that and then it start, as soon as he does he starts to swing through a little bit more and so that's what really we were discussing at this point again in hindsight I should have had her work him or helped her work him a little bit more from the ground and um, probably even put her on a lunge line here would have been helpful because this could be a little more active for it to be beneficial. But again, it did help her to get the feel for what she was looking for. Just not really enough push from the back end for it to be beneficial for rain right now. A little bit better there at the end in that direction. And then similar things happening going this way. Again, staying out off of her inside aids a little bit better um, now that she's on him than on the lunge line. However, I don't think he's quite strong enough right now to really come up through his back and, and get it all connected with her weight on him. So we didn't do a whole lot of mounted trot at this point which was a good thing because I think it would have been better off to work them a little bit differently overall, but there wasn't a whole lot of this done. But again, lots of up and down, very weak here for rain. 
but starting to get a much better feel, especially if you compare this to her riding him in the video from February. She wasn't really communicating with him very much at all, more so just waiting for him to reach down. And now she's starting to be able to get a feel for getting him into the stretch herself. So that's was starting to get a little bit better. Now here um, is where the work starts to get, you know, more beneficial for Rain. So what we did in between that last clip and this one, she rode him a lot on the lunge line and I rode him a little bit for her. And so he he's getting stronger here for sure. You can see there's much more swing in the walk than there was before. Um, still not stretching overly deeply, but I would say that this walk has improved quite a bit um, in just two months time and you'll see that she's maintaining a more consistent correct uh, connection with him in the front end and really trying to ride him from from the back end forward so that's where the activity is coming in so you know still a long way to go here but much better and really communicating with him well so that was January, this is March here, and now the trot is starting to come along as well. She mainly walked with um, when she rode him until about here. This was probably where we started to go back into the trot. And he's still fairly straight behind, but giving a little bit more bend through the hawks. And, you know, sitting into her hands a little bit more rather than just reaching down then coming up starting to get a little bit more consistent in the front end and starting to get a little more a little more connected still definitely needs to be more active but much better here for sure and she's getting a much better feel for how she needs to to correct him and following him and that sort of thing as well so we were quite happy with this when we got to this point And so this video was taken just last month, and I'm sure this is where you'll see the biggest difference. Lily has put in a lot of work with Rain over this time between March and August and has been doing a very good job of getting him to the best place that he can get to. So much more swing in the walk here than in the last video. And you can see that the basics of his lunging has improved greatly. He's staying out at the end of her line much better. He's much more focused and in general he is just responding a lot better to what Lily is asking of him and she has a much better feel of what she wants to ask of him as well. So this is still his more difficult side um, but you know, you can see how he has much more swing to the walk and he's shaping this circle much better than in the last video that we have. And if you just look at his overall development, you can definitely tell that he's a much stronger horse. So I left in pretty much all of the footage from this day. I did record for Lily on this day, but I kind of just left it up to her as to what she was going to do so if you, I actually had to leave the sound on this video you'd see that I'm saying very very little which is also another thing where she has a much 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 better idea of how to get from him what she's looking for and what she needs to look for to get him to the best place so very happy with her on that Now in this direction you see that he still does try to fall in a little bit at times. But she's feeling that and trying to take a little connection with the lunge line and send him out to get him to step out away from her again when he does do that. And this is a much more active trot than you've seen up until this point. He's still a little tense and he was a little tense on this day so... 
it's taking a little bit for him to really let go, but the difference in his stride is is huge. He definitely has more bend from the Hawks, and that actually gets better as this day goes on. But he's actually swinging in under his body now rather than going very straight-legged and, and not bending through his Hawks at all. And so she's just working here to get him to really let go and relax all the way down. He actually was having a tendency to fall in a little bit more on this day than he normally does now, but you know, every they all have their days where that might happen a little bit more than others. But he's just a little bit stiffer through this side of his body than he often is at this point in his training. And so she just added a little canter in there and although this canter is actually maybe not the best that he has to offer right now, it does help to loosen him up in the trot. So that was an okay amount of canter there for him. And then she just goes back to working on letting him Relax all the way down in the stretch here in the trot, keeping the activity from behind and looking for him to relax all the way down. Start to get that consistent flow coming from the back end. And then back to a much more relaxed walk there at the end where he's relaxing and swinging down. And then this side was actually a little bit better here today. And this is how he goes in this direction is how he's normally been going in both directions. He's been pretty equivalent, but just a little bit tighter to the right. And so what I'd like to see here is that he gets out on a bit of a bigger circle than when he just started on, but she's looking to send him out there now, so that's good. And just, you know, starting to really get that flow coming through from behind, a little canter there to help with that. He's starting to be able to canter and actually stay over his back and you can see that the trot has a lot more lift to it now than it ever has before. Again in this direction a lot more bend through his hawk. And really looking to reach through his whole top line and down and into the contact which was is a very big deal for him. But I like how he's shaping the circle in this direction a lot better than the other one. And you can see that Lily is having to make a whole lot less corrections in this direction. She's mainly just sending him forward from behind, and now he really wants to reach over his back and reach down into the contact. So that's really nice right there. And he starts to really relax all the way down and swing through. Getting pretty close to tracking off, but I remember saying at one point and thinking that I wasn't quite sure if this horse would ever be able to come close to tracking off because he was so stuck in his movement and so straight through his back legs and just wanting to carry his back legs way out behind him. So it's very, very nice to see him swing through. And that was a pretty nice canter transition there. So he didn't really come up. He kind of just stepped right into it and kept the stretch and kept swinging over his back. Really nice there. We don't do a whole lot of canter with him at this point still, but it does really help to improve the trot and his canter is good enough now that he can do a little bit, not just to improve the trot, but he actually can benefit from a little bit of that. And again, much, much, much more consistent in general. Swinging through a lot nicer. I'm actually getting some really beneficial work now on the lunge line. 
something which looks much more comfortable as well, which is always the goal. Much more swing in the walk there, and that's where we ended the lunging for, for that day. And so here you'll see Lily is just starting to warm him up, get him stretching all the way down in the walk, take him all around around the arena, starting to establish that he's moving off of her inside aids. And I really like how he really looks to reach into her hand in the walk now. He really, the connection is, is coming from him as, it should be, but she does have a really good feel now for where she needs to give him a little bit more support. So you'll see her start to follow him off a little bit with her hand and ride him forward into that when he starts to come off a little bit instead of waiting for him to come way up to make the correction. And you can also see that she's really figured out how to come up through her hand and keep her elbows bent rather than coming down and back which took a little while for her, but now she does a very, very good job of it. And so with him, he could use a little bit more activity here in the walk, but he's the type of horse that you really do want to start slow. If you um, start to really ride him too forward from the beginning, then he will get tense about it and start to brace a little bit more. So. She's slowly trying to increase that activity without losing the relaxation or losing the depth of the stretch. Tries to come up a little bit there, but she caught him very nicely. And then he actually has a little bit more swing and a little bit more depth to his stretch there after that correction. So that was very nice to see. And just keeping everything nice and slow and simple for him. Here, as I said before, he is a very tricky or can be a very tricky pony, so she's doing a good job of, you know, keeping him focused here and keeping him working nicely and properly without losing his willingness to work with her. And so again, we'd like to see a little bit more swing, but much, much better than how he's moved in the past. And another nice correction there from her. And now she's going to try to work through a couple of leg yields, which do benefit him, but they can be really tricky because he still has a bit of a, a tendency to want to resist when you use your leg uh, to move him over instead of soften and move off of it but that actually happened quite nice for him so although he doesn't have very big crossovers it still helps to get him to move off that leg and you can see she ends up with a little bit of a nicer and more active walk here because of it And she has a much better feel of riding him through that now. So I think in this one, he gets a little bit more tense and braces up a little bit more. But she works through it and she doesn't let like, lose his focus or, you know, have him come completely out of her hand when she works through it. So that goes to show that, she, you know, she's getting a much, much better feel for how she needs to ride him in those moments. And then right back to all the way down in the stretch and a relaxed place after he got a little tense there for a moment. So that's really good to see. And again there. And then we're going to try a little bit of that to the right as well. 
this is a little bit of a uh, the harder direction for rain, as you can see, especially to this on this day, as you've seen a little bit on the lunge line, but also a little bit of a more difficult direction for Lily because she's stronger on her left side. She is um, left-handed and has a little bit more difficulty getting him off of her right aids than her left aids. So he does fall in a little more at times in this direction, but she's getting a feel for correcting that. And this is a really nice walk here starting out, actually. You'll see that the rhythm in the walk um, gets a little inconsistent at times. There's times where he's flowing through really nicely and times where he that flow of energy gets lost a little tiny bit. But overall, it's much more active and he's much more comfortable and staying in a more beneficial place overall now than he ever has before. And that was actually not a bad leg yield at all. She's just asking for very little bits right now, again, just to keep the, the relaxation. Um, but he actually, you know, moved off her right leg really nicely there. And had a little bit, like, you know, let go a little bit more and swung through a little bit more afterwards. So, quite happy with that. And again, um, you know, during this, at, at the time that this video was taken, it was all really Lily's decision as to where she went next or what she was doing. I was very quiet and really just filming for her. So, she's doing an excellent job of improving this walk here on her own. And getting a really good feel for what she needs to do to improve that. A lot more independent now over the past year. And still, I think she has an excellent, excellent feel for this type of work, especially considering her age. And so that was where we, or where she chose to go into the trot. And you can see in the beginning, which is still a fairly normal thing for him, he starts out in the trot trying to be pretty tense. He wants to throw his head up and run. And that was where for a long time Lily had trouble working through that because where he is is such a tricky pony and tends to, um, you know, try to escape through any little door that she gave him. It is easy to lose his focus, especially in moments like that, and it can be difficult to refocus him again. So you can see her working through that now, but she has a really much better feel of, um, you know, sending him forward and getting him in between her aids and not letting him run the show and um, just keeping working with him, still in a very soft and um, not demanding type of way uh, but just sending him forward and keeping that flow coming through and keeping the connection with him in the front end until he settles into and gives in a little bit more which he always does for her now so that's really good to see and so that little canter there actually was was rain's decision um well he chose to let him canter for a little bit and just keep riding him through that um which the, that canter wasn't overly beneficial, but by not really fighting with him a whole lot there, she came back into a pretty good trot, and he started to relax and start to use himself a lot better there afterwards. So that was okay there, I think. I wouldn't have we'll let that can, canter go on for an overly long period of time, but... It resulted in a nice trot after, so a much more relaxed trot after, so I was okay with that. And there you did see him fall in a little bit again, but she got him moving out around the circle and off of her inside leg by the second half of the circle, so again, and he's starting to relax a lot better again here and reach down and into her hand. Still getting a little tense at times, but she's doing a really good job of catching him. Really has a much better feel following up with her hands now and keeping that flow of energy coming through. 
And overall, just the quality of his trot, even in those moments, has gotten so much better because he's so much stronger here than he ever has been before. And actually is able to use his back effectively and stay relaxed through his back so that he can swing in under his body and move off of her leg and that sort of thing. Much better bend through the hawks. Actually, you know, seeing his hind leg swinging under his body instead of getting left out behind him now. Really nice there. Really nice there. Where she's able to send him to her hand and let go a little bit more and have him reach deeper into her connection rather than pop up and invert. And then working to trot to the left a little bit here. She loses him for a second, so she takes him onto a circle and steps him off her inside leg, which that circle actually could have been a little bit bigger, I think, but it wasn't bad. And this time around is much better. Starting to see that send that inside hind in under his body to create the stretch again and then getting it there and getting him back into that relaxed place once he gives in he's a horse that you can really just you know soften in the front end and just keep the energy flowing from behind to keep the stretch but in the beginning trot in both directions you really have to be on top of him until he relaxes and gives in and reaches all the way down or he will go back to that inverted and hollow way of going that he used to have. It's happening less and less and he's getting to a nice place quicker and quicker of course but he still has that tendency at times. Just had to come back to the walk there for a second to fix her saddle It slid over to the right a little bit. And then back into the trot, still looking for him to relax and come through and use himself, get a little bit more connected. But much more relaxed here already. So you can see now he's starting to reach into her hand without so much support from her and stay a lot more consistent reaching for the connection and again much better quality to the trot flowing over the ground a lot better than he ever has before there's actually you know some push behind to push the back up getting a lot more lift in the trot it's very, very flat in the past. Ah, that's really nice right there. So we get a little bit deeper, but really nice flow of energy coming through. And then he still likes to come off a little bit and the changes of directions and things, but especially Lily lost the connection a little bit there when she switched her whip, but you'll see that he's coming back into things much quicker now, which he never would before. Like I said, if you gave him any little doorway to get, you know, above the hand or to slow down or anything like that, then it would take a very long time to get the focus back but now he's just coming right back into things and really and you can tell now that he you know enjoys the stretch and looks for the stretch a whole lot more than he used to and that was better there so he fell in again um, and you know stopped moving off her inside aid around that circle but she just sent him right back over and then by the time she got to the corner he was moving off of it again and then 
had a much better quality trot down that long side because of it. Now that's nice right there. Getting that little bit of a deeper stretch. And then she's going to work a little bit in the canter. So similar to on the lunge line, this isn't the best canter I've seen from him in this direction. But it's not awful. She gets moments where he's looking to reach down and accepting that contact and, you know, coming from behind right there. That's a lot nicer. But then he comes up again and starts to get a little tense and drop through his back. So she doesn't ask for a whole lot today. We're really only cantering him for a little moments on the circle at this point. And then she's going to come back and work the trot again. That didn't really quite get to a, a good enough place there to ask for too, too much of it. So I that was a, a good decision on her part to, you know, get a little bit of a reach and then ease him back into the trot. But again, even on days where he doesn't have the best canter, um, it still does often help to improve the trot for him. So... But the canter in this direction happens a lot nicer today. And again, I love how relaxed he's being, how he's just flowing over the ground much better than he ever has before. And then you see the canter in this direction. He moves off her leg. A little nicer that's something that actually could be improved in the canter for her for both of them um, in both directions I think if she could get him to step off her inside leg a little bit more then she'd get a little bit of a deeper stretch but this is better here he's not as resistant he's more relaxed and he's getting moments where he really is reaching over his back but again we don't ask for a whole lot of that really just a little bit on the circle when she feels that he needs to or she feels like he can do it well, which he, that was pretty good there for him at this point. And then she had a much really nice swing down that long side after. And you can see that even more he's reaching for her hand without losing the, the swing from the back end. Much bigger steps from behind here than he's ever able to do before. Nice and consistent here for him. Just minor corrections from Lily, which she's doing very well. And then I think she's just going to do one more little trot in each direction. You can see there that her reins get a little bit loose, but she's still sending him forward from behind into her hand. And he doesn't immediately pop up anymore. So you can see that the connection is really starting to come from the swing from the back end and him engaging his back and reaching into her hand. Whereas before, if you let go at all in the front end, then he would immediately just look to pop up. So you can see here that he, he's finally starting to get a little bit of a connection from back to front, which is great to see. Nice trot there. Really starting to swing through from behind. And much better trot in this direction now. Much softer off that inside rein. Yeah, it does have a bit of a tendency to hang on the inside rein to the right, which Lily is working on. And then back into the walk one last time. You can see that He's really wanting to reach all the way down in the walk now and swing through from behind, which is really good to see. Much more relaxed over the full length of his back than he was in the beginning walk work. Really a lot more swing here as well, so really good telltale signs that this was a good workout for him today and he got to a nice place because of the work that Lily did and he's having an easier time now, keeping that swing a little bit 
distracted there for a moment, but comes right back into things after. So I was very, very happy with Lily on this day. Again, it was, we started uh, at a very backwards place with this horse in the beginning. So all these little baby steps to getting him to this place have been very rewarding. And Lily has done a great job learning this work on a difficult horse and is now getting to enjoy the reward of that. And she really looks forward to continuing this work with him. And I think has a great feel for it. I think she has a long life ahead of her of really doing a great job of bringing horses along. Really nice right there. And really great feel on her part. But really quite happy with the work from Lillian Rain on this day. From here, I would just like to see her continue with this work and to build on what she's already established with Rain, uh, which I think they're on a, a very good path to being able to do. Uh, I'd like to see him move off her leg a little bit more and stay a little bit more relaxed when she's asking him for uh, the leg yields and that sort of thing. And I'd like to see her build on the canter work that she's already on a good path to starting. So this is Erin O'Reilly with Art to Ride and thanks for watching.